535 is the time right now, and we want to let you know about a KGW special report that uncovers just how easy it is for criminals to use hidden cameras. This investigation was launched after we had several stories, several cases of people hiding cameras in bathrooms at their workplace, even in other people's homes. Yeah, most recently, this Portland pharmacist was accused of putting a hidden camera into two places where he worked. So as that case continues, KGW's Lindsay Nadrich sat down with a detective to find out what you should watch out for. Anything you can think of, yeah, I've seen a camera in it or, or personally put one in it uh, for part of the investigation. When this detective says you can put a camera in anything, he literally means anything. Can you put a camera in this air can? Sure. Yeah, and, th and they make those off the shelf you can buy too. Putting up hidden cameras is part of his job and why we couldn't show his face on camera during this interview. Yeah, it looks just like an alarm clock, but... That's what it was. It, you take the guts out of it and hide the camera in it. You just need a hole, hole small enough for the lens, which is right here. He even put a camera in this old thermostat. That is just an old wall thermostat with a tiny hole drilled in it. You wouldn't, how would you even know? You I mean, wouldn't. Unless you were really looking for it and knew what you're looking for, you wouldn't. While he does this to catch human traffickers and drug dealers, there are others who use these tiny cameras to commit crimes. The thrill for them is not seeing someone nude per se. It's, it's the thrill of seeing the person nude without their consent, without them knowing about it. It's that slight power exchange that, haha, I, I got to do this and you couldn't stop me. Just look at the most recent case against Johnny Chan. He was first accused of putting cameras in a restroom at Kaiser Permanente, where he was a pharmacist. Then prosecutors added charges, accusing him of hiding a camera in the Banana Republic employee restroom at Cascade Station. Investigators believe Chan secretly recorded 51 different people. We spoke with one victim. Now, after this, I'm paranoid to use like a public restroom, like something as simple as that. I'm scared to do that now. I'm scared that someone's looking at me while I'm using the restroom or someone's filming me now. I'm just, I'm very scared. These cameras can be tiny. For example, there are two hidden cameras where I'm standing. Can you spot them? Well, I'm told the trick is to look for something that's out of place. If you look at this shelf, for example, it's full of tech items. And then there's this picture cube. If you look closely, there's a hidden camera in the sunglasses. You should also look for unusual behaviors, like me holding this water bottle, for example. I don't know if you notice, but there's a hole right here. That's the camera. And if you pull the water bottle apart, this isn't even really a water bottle. There's a battery and camera equipment. Consider this scenario. There's suddenly a new potted plant that wasn't there before in your gym locker room. Is it in a weird place? Detectives say that may be a sign there's a camera in it. Well, why would it be in a weird spot? Well, the person has to get angle the video where they can see what they want to see, right? I also learned there are cameras designed to look like USB phone chargers. They even plug into the wall and can actually work as a charger. But if you see one suddenly appear in the bathroom, take a closer look. There are also some cameras that connect to Wi-Fi and stream video directly to the Internet. But there are others where the person has to physically go back and get the footage they've recorded. Detectives say that's often how people get caught. If you see someone, you know, like around a bathroom or something, they're just kind of loitering around acting strange. Could they be waiting for their chance to go back in and get their camera out? Certainly. We've had a case where that occurred. Lindsay Nadrich, KGW News.